Hey y'all, welcome to La Chicana Kitchen. Today's recipe is beef birria with a side of consomme. Birria is a traditional dish that originated in Jalisco, Mexico, and it's served at weddings, quinceañeras, and special occasions. Birrerias are famous for their birria tacos and consomme, such as this right here. You dip that taco in that consomme, and then you make some quesadillas. Yum, so let's get to it. Okay, so there's three parts to this recipe. Uh, first, the meat, uh, four to five pounds of beef chuck or diezmillo. Diezmillo is sold over the counter at Mexican markets. Half a white uh, onion, two garlic cloves, two to three tablespoons of salt, to your taste, two tablespoons of cooking oil, and 12 cups of water. I did not record the part where I seared the steak. Uh, and I seared it with a little bit of cooking oil and I added the onions and the garlic and the salt with the water and I submerged the meat. Here we go, next is the chiles. We need 15 guajillo chilies, three ancho chilies, two roma tomatoes, two garlic cloves, and a half of a uh, white onion. We're going to put that in a big pot. Here is the type of chilies I use in their package. They also sell them in bulk at your local Mexican uh, or Hispanic markets. Uh, after the chilies are soft, after boiling them for about 15 to 20 minutes, you place them into a blender. Don't be scared. I know it's gonna be really hot. The blender will not pop. Here is the sauce recipe. And you add all these ingredients into that blender as well. So you go ahead and add the, two the garlic cloves, the three cloves, or clavos de olor, as they are called in Spanish. You're going to use 20 peppercorns, two laurel leaves, or hojitas de laurel, a half a tablespoon of ground oregano you could also use the regular oregano but i prefer the ground one uh, one tablespoon ground cumin you could also use the cumin seeds but i prefer the ground cumin uh, put it all together look at all that beautiful mix you're going to add the half a white onion and one tablespoon of sesame seeds and this is going to help the sauce thicken uh, and make it into a yummy little paste and you're gonna add uh, the broth of that water, the chili water up to halfway. And it all depends actually, oh, I forgot the salt there, so go ahead and add the salt. It all depends on how thick you want your sauce. If you want your your meat to be uh, floating in a lot of salt, then uh, salt, I'm sorry, water, then you go ahead and add more water as you wish. Uh, blend until fully liquefied, and two hours later, this is how the meat looks. But you know what, it looks plain, right? So we're gonna add this awesome sauce on top of it. Let's get a wire strainer after this. Look at that. It smells amazing and so aromatic. So there you go with the wire strainer. You could get that at the 99 cent store if you wish. Uh, stir it up like Bob Marley, stir it up. And you keep on stirring until that paste becomes thicker and thicker and all that stuff keeps on coming down. It's just yummy. It smells amazing. Let me just tell you that right now. Look at that ladle. So I'm gonna Pour that broth onto that strainer. I'm gonna keep on pushing down with the back of my spoon so I could get all that yummy stuff out of those dried chilies that I just boiled. I'm going to ladle some of that broth into that uh, blender cup and I'm going to put that mixture through the strainer back again. Keep on stirring it up again. And at this moment, I am cutting the meat. You can do this prior to searing the meat. You don't have to do this right now. I know it could be a little bit dangerous and challenging to some people. Uh, I just decided to do it at this point. And taste test uh, once again for salt. Two and a half hours later, this is how it looks. It's, it's getting that color. It's gonna, uh, that flavor is gonna seep through and it's gonna smell amazing. Now it's time for the vinegar. I did add a half a cup of vinegar, white distilled vinegar, and that makes it have a, a tangy taste to it. Um, 
trust me, the vinegar just brings every single thing together. Uh, you go ahead and submerge and mix all that yummy stuff. In. And at this point, you taste test again, just in case it needs more salt or less salt, you could add water. So the meat has been cooking for three hours now with all that nice little juice. Yes, let's check it out. Yum, 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 yum. It's coming along. I am going to leave it for another two hours so it could be more tender and I could flake it up. It's starting to do that actually right now, but I think I need another two hours. So let's get the toppings ready. I did use a glove here because as you can tell, um, I, what, I did have a cut on my finger. I just wasn't touching anything directly. Um, and so here we go. I love my little limes. And you're going to get some cilantro already washed. Make sure that you wash that cilantro. I've heard stories about dirty cilantro. Please do not use dirty cilantro. Um, go ahead and we're going to use half of a white onion. We are going to um, finely dice that onion yes and you could use you know whatever size onion you like uh, this is the size i prefer for my birria and trust me all these uh condiments and ingredients and toppings is gonna make are gonna make a big difference on your birria they make the birria taste even more amazing yay happy dance and let's go on five and a half Five and a half hours later, here we are with our birria. This is the final uh, result. You place it into a bowl. And what I'm gonna do, I'm going to remove the fat from it because yes, there's fat on it. Let's place it onto a bowl. And I have some aluminum foil on the side so I could place that fat um, on the side. Look at that. Oh. It makes me drool just thinking about it all over again. Here we go. We're uh, taking off all that fat and um, we are going to start flaking this thing right about now. Look at that. It's so tender. You're flaking it. It's like a pot roast, basically, just with much more flavor. So go ahead and flake that up. And what I love to do is grab some of that broth that it was cooking in and place it on top. Oh yes, drool. So mix it up, mix it up. And if you want more broth, add more broth. It all depends. I'm gonna add more broth once I serve that Mexican rice on top of that. So look at that, that broth. It just holds so much flavor, so much so much flavor. I mean, I'm telling you, the um, the taste is just like un unlike no other. So go ahead and add the onions and the cilantro, and um, you could top it off with some lime at the end. So here's the final product right here. I absolutely love my birria, and I absolutely love eating it and feeding it to my family. I made some salsa here which i will make the video for uh later and also for that mexican rice if you guys would like to if you guys would like to see more let me know at the comments below thank you for watching it's 11 o'clock and i served myself another plate i should make an asmr video ¡Delicioso!